Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're about to go into part two of Titanic. We've taken a little break halfway through the film. Okay, a quick recap where we are on the story. Oh, uh, the iceberg has sank. Um, Jack... The iceberg has sank? <laughs> no, the <laughs> ship is about is starting to sink because it we've has been hit told by it's an going. Iceberg. We've been t we've been told by the designer it's going to sink. Yeah. And the and Jack has been uh, what's the word? It's been framed. Yeah, framed. Framed for stealing mm -hmm. the heart of the ocean, which was at the beginning, which is the thing that brought uh, Rose to the exploration ship right at the start with the drawing. She said that she was going to get off the ship with Jack just before, and she was holding hands going to her mother and Cal, uh, presumably to declare her love for Jack, which I think is a huge turning point for her. There's three turning points happening. Number one, the boat is, the ship has hit the iceberg. Number two, Jack is in the worst place to be right now, which is framed on the Titanic, which is about to sink. And number three, Rose has going through a whole turmoil because she's changed to want to declare herself to Jack and then Jack's been framed right in front of her. So her social environment is completely upside down and we just passed the midpoint. Pretty cool, what's gonna happen? Oh. Not allowed to say the ship will sink. Well, it will. We know that. Oh, but what's going to happen with Jack and Rose? Because that's the real emotional story. I, I don't think, think Rose... She looked like she kind of believed that Jack did steal the things for a second. Yeah. What I like about this so far is that I completely forgot they were on the Titanic and the story of the Titanic sh sinking was coming. I was actually wrapped up in the love story, which I found absolutely compelling. And it works and the chemistry is amazing and I'm in. I now have a sense of dread of what's going to happen and how their lives are going to get mixed up in it all. But I'm also remembering the central part of the story. We've seen Rose as an old lady. And wasn't there something at the beginning which said that she died on the boat, on the ship? They think that. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Please stick around for the end where we do a final review of the film So Thank you very much. We're going to get back to it. You ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! I was wondering who's going to speak Go first. On. You look at me when I'm talking to you. Please put on your life belts and come up to the boat. Said deck. not now. I'm sure it's just a precaution. Whoa. Well, I guess that killed the conversation of them talking about what the truth was, how she feels about Jack and how she feels about him framing Jack. Just kill the conversation with a slap. That's right, CQD, the distress call. It's serious, isn't it? I mean, that's what I'm... I mean, we've been so wrapped up in Jack and Rose's story. For this to happen now, it's... It's a disaster. Oh my, he's walking around not... He's like, he knows what's going to happen, but... Please tell me the truth. The ship will sink. You remember what I told you about the boat? Yeah. Jeez, she knows it's not enough. A special shout out to David Warner. Oh my god, he can't believe it. Women and children first. Yeah. Oh, Bernard Hill, you're playing it very well. He doesn't know how to handle the situation. He's really carrying it. That, as an actor, he's carrying that. <sighs> nice and cheery, so there's no panic. Well, <laughs> a whole new meaning to uh, keep calm and carry on. Right side, no. uh, oh. Is that like a flare? Yeah. Um, 
He's like in the worst situation imaginable, isn't he? I've been asked to give you this small token of our appreciation. Mr. Oh, Raya, he knows. He put the diamond on him. I mean, is there no sense of any kind of understanding? I hope they're not too crowded. Mm. Oh, Mother. Shut up! <laughs> the water is freezing and there aren't enough boats. Half the people on this ship are going to die. Yeah. Not the better half. Huh? Oh, punch him in the face. Punch him off the boat. Yeah, just twat him one. You unimaginable bastard. Yeah, right. Just, just punch him in the nose. I haven't responded to a character like that for a while. <laughs> I hate him. Goodbye, mother. Go on, Rose. Punch him. Hmm. I'd rather be his whore than your wife. Yeah. No! Yeah. You s it doesn't matter what you say, mate. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Feel bad for her. Feel bad for the mum. Yeah. Slightly. Well, she had the opportunity to see the situation for what it is. The thing is, she's as she explained earlier, she's desperate, right? She needs to cling on to the, her daughter being married to Cal for her own status. And that's her... That's her... Uh, that's her undoing. How'd you get out of that? How would you, what would you do? Try and break the pipe. I'd like to swing on it. Literally. Break the pipe, I guess, is easier, isn't Use it? Use it as a monkey bar. Well, she's really fighting for him. Risking everything for him. I'm break. sorry, I'm so sorry. Break the pipe. Yeah. You don't have time. <laughs> You're tired for this later. <laughs> oh dear. I'll be right back. No, he won't, no. He won't have time. Oh my goodness. I'll just wait here! <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna do much else. I would still try and break it, like hang on it or something. <laughs> this is verging on a horror film. Yeah. I keep thinking I'm gonna see like a spirit or something. Yeah, well, she's roaming around corridors on her own desperate situation. I mean, it's. What is that? Hose pipe. Oh. Oh. She's you not got gonna... something, girl. Go, go, go. It's a bit go, late, go. though. I don't think there are any boats. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, my God. You gotta go, Rose. You gotta go. Hurry up. Just so. Oh, if only he wasn't taken in prison. That's a great image. Will this work? I guess we'll find out. Of course it'll work. Well. Don't break the, just break the pipe. Cut his hand off, I mean. Cutting his hand off won't be a bad situation. Might not be a bad situation in this particular. <laughs> Don't do practice, Swind. I think the pipe is a better, better one, isn't it? Really fast. No, break the pipe. Open your hands up a little more. No, I can't watch. He's gonna rip his hands off. Well, if he get, if she cuts his hand off, at least he's free. Go. It's not gonna work. Oh look at him! Oh my god! Oh, I thought his hand was cut off. Oh my god! Jeez, that was a fantastic sequence of her going through those corridors and getting to that situation it reminded me of Ripley and Newt. It was just amazing. That's the Cameron was having really good fun there. Who do you think should be the first people to get on the boats? Uh, the mums and children. 
not him. That's white Starline property. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> he says, uh, he's shut up. Fill these books, Mr. Lightoller, for God's sake, man! Hello. Oh, I feel for him because he's really struggling. He's in a difficult situation. Oh, we've got to keep an eye on that heart of the ocean, remember? That diamond. I want to know where it goes. Damn it, son of a Why are they locking it? I mean... Yeah. <coughs> yes, come on. Yeah. Yeah, too right. <laughs> yeah. You can't go this! Hold on, What? Who just pushed her? Yeah, it's the surge in the crowd. It's panic. Panic's sitting in. Keep order, I said. What's that? He's putting bullets in. He was. Is everybody all right? He didn't have bullets in before. Gee, he's a good actor, this guy. Well, they don't listen to us at dinner either. Come on, let's play. Keep us warm. Well, they're gonna die. They're just playing to their death. That's stupid. Do you know, the reason I believe it's in the film is because it, it actually happened. The musicians did play while it sank. Standing then, Mr. Murdoch. Don't. Oof. Would you take money? No. Would you take money like that? I'll just take the money and be like, no, you're not coming. <laughs> take the money and say no. Women and children only! Gee. It's panic. Rose has got to get on. If I was Jack, I'd get Rose on there. Oh, he's got good screen presence. I, I like Billy Zane, he's great. He's underrated in this, I think. I don't like him. No, he's, as an actor, I'm saying. Oh, no, he goes on. Sneaky. I'm not going without you. No, you have to go. Now. Get on the boat, Rose. Get, get rid of him. I hate that guy. I have an arrangement with an officer on the other side of the ship. Jack and I can get off safe. Oh, don't trust. No, he's dead. I don't Goodbye. trust him. Move around, please. <laughs> you know, it's a hard situation. I can't imagine ever wanting to be in the situation where. It, Mummy and your sister have to get on a boat and we have to stay. It'd be horrible, wouldn't it? I wouldn't it? have to stay, because I'm a child. Oh, you're a child, that's true. But I wouldn't leave. You're a good liar. I'm almost as good as you. I always win, Jack. And lower away evenly, lad. One way or another. Oh, just punch him. <laughs> just give him a nosebleed. <laughs> No, no, Rose. Rose. What is Rose doing? Stupid. Why'd you do that? Huh? Jump high, jump right. Please don't. Oh God! Wait, what? Come on! Move oh, he's crazy. I hate this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves that. Somebody stop him! Oh god. No. 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 Go. How much ammo does this guy have? Yeah, that's it. I 
put the diamond in the coat. I put the coat on her! Huh. What does that mean? She's wearing his coat. And he put the diamond in the coat. So that means all the money. So the diamond's in her, co in the, her coat pocket. Oh no, 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 no. Don't have to, oh my goodness, they can't ignore that. He was saving them. Yeah. You're the bad father. You left him there. Yeah, clearly a very afraid father. No. Oh, man. More things over another. Break it. They can't get a break. Oh. Help me! Please! Help me! Oh, just do it, mate. Just open the gate. Just... Just do it. You've got a key. It took longer to pause than to actually open it. How long does it take to open a damn gate? Oh my god. He's panicking. Open it. No. This guy. Useless guy. So annoying. How, how are you supposed to see? The... They can't both be dead. Hurry up. He's got to do it, right? Yes, go on. Ooh, nick of time. Only one of them. <laughs> oh my god. No. Just. <laughs> they can't get off the boat. There's no boats left, surely. A deal. Yeah. Your money can't save you any more than it could save me. With nothing now. Oh. oh my god, he must feel horrible. He's just scared. It was him, he pushed him. No. No will! No, no. no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good luck to your boss. They don't have any life jackets on at all. So Mr. Andrews just stays on the ship, is that what happened? In real life, I wonder. We have dressed in our best and are prepared to go down as gentlemen. Fair play. You would like a brandy. Yeah. What's he doing? He's just given up. He's. I think he's just in a world of bewilderment of the situation. He was supposed to be the highlight of his career, or the you know the the end of his career. The what is the end of his career, but this is his great achievement for him to to captain the Titanic, and he can't believe what's happening. I like this guy. <laughs> Do you remember what time it said that the ship went down? Wow. Oh. <laughs> he was doing well. Leave the shadow of death. I you want to walk more. a little faster through that valley there? <laughs> oh, this is impressive, you know. This is real water and real sets. Well, that could be a model, though. But uh, that big dome... Do you remember the animation at the beginning? How they say it went down. It's doing it. Why don't they jump? He said, 
they're trying to stay out of the water as long as possible. Only one of them have a life jacket. Mm, mm. Oh, imagine having a child in that situation. This is where we first met. Not now, love. Oh my, oh. That's death. That's way too far. Yeah, it is. Oh! oh. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, this is the snapping in half. Oh, it's him, he's still around. Imagine that. Oh, all those people. Oh. People just fell. This is the last bit, isn't it? Of it going. Oh, look, that guy just fell. Yeah. The best you could do is maybe get to the bottom and try and swim away with a life jacket or something. Yeah. Do the well. easiest swim possible. Breaststroke. Yeah. And maybe you can find help. Why swim, being able to swim with your clothes on is a good idea, right? I'll just take my clothes off. Oh, it's very cold. Well, yeah. I mean, what do you do? Use it as a float. Well, well, there are ways, actually. Oh, no. This is it! I'm starting to think shooting yourself was probably the easiest way. I think I would be clinging on to every moment I could to survive and find a way at every single moment you to survive. Be it. Like, even in this situation, get on a boat afterwards, something, No, I'd something. try and swim to the boat. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I would have got off I'd way never, earlier. never give up. I would have got off way earlier, though. Yeah. Not leave it till... Like, as soon as the first boats go, I would have started to try and swim towards them. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath when I say... Whoa, this is intense. Liverpool. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> Jesus. She's lucky she has a life jacket. All of us should have took life jackets and then we just start trying to breaststroke away or something. Do, do not panic. It'd be hard not to. Other people panicking around me. Just pushed would her head freak underwater. Out. Yeah, they're all panicking. Yeah! They're using her as a flu. Oh. I need you to swim. Oh, I did not think Jack would survive this long. What's going to happen to him? Is it just going to be a shark? No, I don't think sharks are going to get involved. Jaws, gums. I don't find any other way he could possibly die. I thought he would have been shot or he would have drowned. But they're swimming. They've got... Get out of I thought maybe Jack survives, but she just doesn't know about it. Oh. Stay on, Rose. You can stay on it as well, but just put your hands on it. You don't have to go onto it. Mm -mm -mm. It'll be cold, but keep your keep your upper body out of the water if you can. What's he doing? He's freezing. Yeah, get over then right now. They'll swamp the boat. They'll pull us right down, I'm telling you. Mm, that's a good point. I mean, what happens if it does swamp the boat? They do. Dead. Is he dead or is he asleep? It's getting quiet. Swap places. You should take turns. Yeah, maybe. A couple of minutes to get the boats organised.
Don't you say your goodbyes. <laughs> you must promise me that you'll survive. I'll never let go. Pause! They're dead. Frost. Yeah. Oh, God. Can anyone hear me? Jack. He's dead. He's dead. Jack. It's not alive. There's a book, Jack. She's gonna grab the whistle. Punch him. Rose Dawson. And I've never spoken of him until now. A woman's heart is a deep ocean of secrets. <laughs> and that he saved me. He exists now only in my memory. Woman's heart is a deep ocean. It's a nice line. Three years. I thought of nothing except Titanic. I never let it in. What do you mean by that? I'd three years thought nothing of the Titanic and I'd never let it in. It's an interesting line that it is. I don't know how much that's autobiographical, autobiographical as well. Do you hear that? Hmm. <laughs> Devil. She learned how to ride a horse. Fly a plane. <laughs> she learned how to go fishing. <laughs> she travelled. She did live a life. That's what she promised, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could pick up on the line of the horse. The musicians are there. Cora. The child. Yeah, all of the faces of strangers. Not Cal, though. Jack. Cal's not there. Him, her mum's not there. And he's dressed in his regular gear.
Does her mum, did her mum even know she survived? I don't think so. Because at the beginning, they said that Rose and her other name did not ex was pronounced dead uh, as in she didn't survive. But what she did do was change her name. To what? Dawson. Oh. Rose Dawson. So her mum thought that she died, presumably. <laughs> James Cameron, John Landau. You okay? Huh? Are you alright? Yeah. Um, it really makes you think about the Titanic. It does. Well, what's it got you thinking about? I don't know. The reality of what it was like. Just how horrifying it was. And the panic and those who died. it hit you? Mm-hmm. What are you thinking about? Oh. <laughs> oh, does it really upset you? No, it's just... Um, it feels swapped. Um, it was us. If we were on the ship... You and I... Everyone. What would it have made? Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Would have, yeah, it would have been a difficult situation, wouldn't it? <laughs> what makes you think the caring about your love, the people you love, is that what it is? It makes you realise you don't want to see people go through that situation that the people went through on the Titanic. Yeah. Okay, I mean, this is what a film does, right? It's really good. Yeah, I really liked it. It's really sad, though. You just think about <clears throat> if uh, you replaced Rose and somebody you really loved replaced Jack. Yeah. But it was a really good movie. I don't think that guy should have survived. No. He didn't deserve to. No. There's a lot going on in the film, isn't there? There's a lot. I mean, it's not just a simple, fun film. It's not just a simple one genre. Yeah. It's multiple genres, I think. It's, it's a bit of an emotional whack, isn't it? I found it to be almost a film of two halves. The first <clears throat> half was a lovely love story, I thought. She was unhappy and needed saving and she fell for this guy who did save her. Watching them uh, get together and her defying the social constraints was really charming and really lovely to see and, and very disarming. And I think I said at halfway point that I forgot that they were on the Titanic, which was a sinking ship or about, you know, going, destined to be a sinking ship. And so it came as um, a harsh reminder when they hit the iceberg. Like, oh, now what's going to happen? Of course, by that point, they are committed together. And there's no, there's no question of their love for each other at that point. And so the story becomes of them trying to survive. Of course, we have immense empathy for them in that situation. So as an audience, we have an immense empathy for any passenger on the Titanic, pretty much, except the ones that are screen villains. And that has a huge impact on the story, being us caring about anybody who died with unjust cause on the Titanic. I think that's the takeaway for me. It's about a story about how another soul saves another soul and that soul saves the other soul back. Because the second half of the film was all about Jack, pretty much 
apart, apart from that that scene where she just before she breaks in free with the axe where the, the her wading through the water in the corridors is absolutely stunning shots but when she frees jack jack leads and she he saves her it's lovely it's lovely uh why is it wrapped in the story of an of an old woman looking back why is it wrapped in that way because her heart carried on she never let go i guess her her woman's heart is uh, as deep as the ocean their ultimate love is that it it's carried on after his death and that's why she's an old woman that's why it's, it was only it's... made 27 years ago only yeah, it's not that far away it busted all of the box office records right and it got a lot of great awards the Oscar on the photo that I showed you for example what is the ingredient to this film that makes it so successful what is it how does it do it what you know what are the what's the core ingredients how to how, how effective is it and how does it do it it's amazing it's amazing I think Kate Winslet is a humongous part of it Leonardo DiCaprio as well but I think Kate Winslet predominantly uh, it's masterful storytelling and masterful writing it's an excellent excellent piece of work it does deserve everything it gets are we a bit shell-shocked right now uh, are we a bit a stunned lot. did you feel just like... if you imagine you replace rose and someone you love replaces jack it's just sad you mean you say, when you say you you mean if you were rose yeah, and then somebody you really love replaces Jack. And they die at the end, yeah. Especially like that. Yeah. <sighs> That's empathy. That's All empathy. the other people in the ship just giving up. Yeah. As people who were just... There were two people who were just lying on the bed together. Yeah. So they gave up. There was a woman with two kids. They gave up. Yeah. The captain... Her shipmaker. Yeah. It's really, it's really good. It has everything. It even has horror. Yeah. Yeah. Chase, thriller, even. Yeah. The water is a horror. Yeah, the water is definitely a horror. And it has adventure, so romance. You remember at the beginning I said the word epic? It's if more. epic is a genre and it isn't, but you Legendary. might want to might want to apply the the genre epic to this. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, um, I mean, what else can I say? There's a reason why the film is so great, and we just experienced it. And it's very difficult to articulate everything as to why that is, and that's probably one of the reasons why it is so great is that it, it is hard to articulate because it's got so much going for it and it stays with you. I think it will stay with you for a while. And it's, but ultimately it, it is a sad film, but it's also a, a film about carrying forward a love. Thanks very much. Um, if you like this, uh, if you like these kinds of videos, and please like and subscribe. We're gonna do more. Yeah, all right, until the next time, thank you.